Hello, my name is Marcella Salem, and my VPP YouTube project is on Chipotle. First, I'll tell you a little bit about Chipotle. Chipotle was founded by Steve Ells in 1993 in Denver, Colorado. Currently, there are 1,600 restaurants all over the world. Chipotle actually started its own food category. It was neither fast food like McDonald's or Pizza Hut, nor was it a sit-down restaurant. So it created its own category now called Fast Casual. Chipotle is a Tex-Mex grill. As you can see in the photo, there are many fresh ingredients like salsa, corn, shredded cheese, and avocado. These can all be put into a customizable um, meal, either a burrito, a bowl, tacos, or a salad. So what is a brand? A brand is a set of mental associations that reside in a cons consumer's mind which help consumers make decisions quickly and easily. In other words, a brand is a name, term, symbol, design intended to identify and distinguish the goods and services of one seller from the competition. A brand could be anything. It could be a TV show, a location, a company, a product, or a service. Brand elements are different components that identify and differentiate a brand. For Chipotle, for example, you could see uh, the name. Uh, Chipotle is a pepper and it's also in the logo. Package design is also a brand element. You can see the distinguishing foil wrapped burrito and the bowl. The bowl is very unique in that you can basically put all of the elements of burrito into the bowl and eat it out of there. And this package design, the, the bowl, this like sort of card bowl, cardboard bowl, I haven't seen it anywhere else. And it's very unique to Chipotle. Brand equity is cultivated by three main factors. Initial positioning and brand identity, integrating the brand into a supporting marketing program, associations indirectly transferred to the brand. Brand management has four steps. You can identify and establish the brand positioning and values, plan and implement brand marketing programs, measure and interpret brand performance, and grow and sustain brand equity. And underneath all of these four main steps, there are examples of how to achieve each one. Points of parity and points of difference. These are very important to a brand as they help distinct identify the brand in consumers' mind. Points of difference are most important in that they distinguish the brand from the competition. Points of parity are those in which they are equal with the competition. In the case of Chipotle, it is inexpensive, convenient, fast, has an international presence, and many locations. Points of difference are the fresh ingredients, the organically grown and raised food, customized fast food, and the restaurant style. And when I say that, I mean the look of the restaurant. So you can always identify a Chipotle because it has lots of metal detailing um, and light colored wood. Brand associations are words or phrases that come to a consumer's mind when they hear or see the brand name. So for Chipotle, uh, some few associations I thought of off the top of my head are fresh, delicious, fast, simple, and convenient. These brand associations are often put into a mental map, which is a web of brand associations. Ideas to enhance the brand. I would say Chipotle should appeal to a wider variety of diets. Um, the first vegan option currently debuted in San Francisco, which is Sofritas, and they need to expand it out to the rest of the market. There should also be a fish option uh, in order to appeal to more vegetarians. There also needs to be more international presence and there needs to be more seating areas in the restaurant. This matters because Chipotle's create, I mean, a brand creates perceived differences among products. 
They develop loyal customer franchise and create a value that can be translated into financial profits. Thank you.